Hey guys, it's Janice Charte and I'm back again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to drive more traffic to your brick and mortar store. I know I don't talk about brick and mortars very often, but honestly, brick and mortars are my favorite types of retail. Um, I love being able to service customers in an in-person uh, way versus online. So today I'm going to talk about a few tips for driving more traffic to your brick and mortar. So if you're interested in this topic, please stay tuned. So as many of you may know, I actually have like 12, almost 13 years of retail experience and I've worked for probably 20 or more of the world's largest retailers. So I have lots of uh, experience working in an in-store brick and mortar setting. Um, so today I want to give you guys some tips on how to get more people to find your business. So my first tip is to make sure that your business has a Google presence. Now, to me, this seems um, kind of self-explanatory, but to some people, it's not. Um, if you did not know, you can get your business listed on Google for free. Um, type into Google, Google my business. And basically what it allows you to do is verify that you own a business. You get to put in your business location, your hours, and you can regularly change those things. Um, and it's 100% free. And also, once your business is up on um, Google, you have the capability to now generate reviews from people who have visited your um, location and things like that. So now you basically give your business um, a local presence. So when people like me, when I type into Google best boutiques in St. Louis, hopefully now your boutique has a, a chance of showing up in the search results for um what that person is looking for also there is yelp which is very similar to google my business um essentially it's the very same thing you just go on there verify that you own a business put your location your address your hours things of that nature you oh and also with google my business and yelp you can add pictures of what your um, business looks like on the inside the outside you can add as many pictures as you want and also gives your customers the capability to add pictures as well so that's my first tip make sure that your business has a google and yelp presence so my second tip is to partner with another um, business of some sort so if you guys have watched my previous videos i actually have a video where i talk about how my old job revived thrift shopping boutique with partner with other businesses so we have had other pop-up shops um, for like accessory companies. So like our store, yes, we did sell accessories, but since it was part thrift store, part boutique, um, the accessories weren't a very large part of our business. So basically the goal here is to bring in an audience that may not necessarily shop with you on a regular basis. So we would often bring in like accessory companies. We would allow um, different fashion trucks to park in our parking lot. And essentially what's ha what happens is we both publicize to our audience that the other is going to be at our shop at a particular time and date and her audience comes out to see her but she obviously invites them to come shop with us and vice versa people come out to shop with us like they normally would and we invite them to go shop with her on her truck um so host a pop-up shop do a partnership have an event in collaboration with someone else um we have also hosted private events private parties things of that nature, workshops, all types of things. We have allowed people to rent our space out um, and they bring out their particular audience. And um, sometimes you don't necessarily know uh, if their audience is going to buy anything, but it's worth taking a chance. They may not buy anything that, on that particular day, but um, they may come back in the future to buy something. So it's worth it. Um, we have also hosted private events like um, So Far Sound Show. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that, but basically it's like a music company where they um, solicit um, up and coming artists and they have like a private show at a location at a secret location um, and people can buy tickets to it. So we have held two of those or we held two of those at my last job um, and it brought out, I think, like 60 or more people each time. And in, in between the artists performing and everything, people shopped. So those people, uh, a lot of them were people who didn't know we existed or had not ever shopped with us. So that was super exciting. So my that tip is to partner with other businesses um, by doing events and pop-up shops and things like that. My third tip is to have memorable signage. So signage can 
in re what I'm referencing here um, in regards to signage is the signage outside of your store that can possibly bring people in. So at my last job, I'm going to keep using them as an example because it's my most recent one. Um, but at my last job, we had various types of signage and things like that that we used to draw people in from our... Um, and our, we had yard signs out in the grass area out front of the store. We've used like flags, you know, the ones that flutter like this in the wind. We've used those. Um, we have changed the actual, I don't know what this is called, but basically like the words that, um, the name of the shop, we changed that. Um, we frequently wrote in the windows. Um, we had all types of different advertising that we placed in the windows. We had a sandwich board. Is that what it's called? A sandwich board? It like looks like a triangle and it closed. We had like a sandwich uh, chalkboard and one that was kind of, was a vinyl um, material that we would write on frequently and we would put, would put the um, current day's promotion or a sale or an event that we were hosting. So we would always just try to put something interesting, colorful, bright, and um, outside that would draw attention to the shop. So another tip for you guys is to offer a buy online, pick up in store option. So if you have a brick and mortar and you do not have an online presence, I urge you to um, get an online store. You may not, that may not have been in your plans, but online is where it's at currently. So I um, recommend that you get a online store it does not have to be very extensive or extremely you know uh crazy or very it doesn't have to be much just it just needs to represent the items in your store not even all of them just some of them some that you believe are like your you know top sellers or maybe something that you're struggling to sell or something that you believe people might buy online versus actually buying in a store but um offer your customers the capability to pick up that item in store versus having to pay shipping to get it sent to them so essentially what you're doing is urging them uh encouraging them to come into the store so yes they're coming in to pick up their merchandise but hopefully they'll come in and they'll see other things that they like and they may buy something so that's my next tip all right so my next tip i think this is number five i'm not sure but this tip is to make sure that you have great window displays. So I pray that wherever your business is located, you have windows. And I pray that those, window, those windows are big. And I pray that those windows do not have like that super harsh, dark, I don't know, paneling where you can't see inside. Those are not beneficial to you at all. If you have it in your budget, get the windows replaced and get nice Big ones, well, not big ones, because that's going to be a healthy penny. If you got the pennies to spend, then do it. But anyway, I hope that your business has um, windows because windows are very beneficial. Um, if you shop at the mall, you know that most retailers deck their windows out in mannequins and displays for all types of occasions. And your boutique should be no different. So at my last job, I would frequently change our windows. Um... When I first started, we only had one main window display. By the time the store closed um, last year, we had three separate window displays. And I gave each one of them a different theme and a different look every quarter at least. Um, sometimes I would do it like every two months. Um, but basically when I was bored, I always made sure that I had um, a mannequin reflect, at least one mannequin reflected in the window. But your windows need to be very product based. Um, and you want to put the best of whatever you have to offer in your windows because you would be surprised at the number of people that pull up in your parking lot or outside of your store when you're closed. You would be so surprised. So at my last job, we had a lot of people who would say, oh, I can't, I came here on Monday and you guys were closed because we were always, we were always closed on Monday, but they came back because of something they saw in the window or through the window. So along with this, you need to make sure that when they see inside your store, that it looks presentable and it's pretty. So, um, yeah, make sure that your window displays are nice, that they are well put together. Make sure that there is at least one mannequin in the window and she or he is wearing something that is like your top item something that you know is going to draw attention and pull people in literally pull them in all right so my next tip is to incentivize being in the store so 
basically what this what i'm saying is to give them a reward for being there so um rewards can come in the way of uh coupons or rewards for a future purchase um and things of that nature um some of the cool fun ways and and this is also a really good way to get your customers to interact with you online as well um so some of the cool ways that you can do this is by doing like contests where you're like um take a picture of yourself while in the fitting room you know trying something on or take a picture of yourself while in the store take a selfie post it use our hashtag or tag us and be entered into uh the chance to win something or you know you can give a coupon to every single person that does that um you can email it to them or they can show it to you at the cash register whenever they're making the purchase and show you that they posted it however you would like to do that but give them a reason to come into the store or give them something to do while they're in the store that will bring them back so if they're already in the store and they do whatever it is that you're asking of them and they show it to you you give them a coupon or something that's going to bring them back in the future um another really cool way uh, to do this is offering a referral program. So maybe you have a frequent customer who comes in and they get a reward or a prize or a coupon or something for referring people to come shop with um, with you guys. So not only are you hopefully going to get the referrals, so the people that they have referred to come shop with you, but you also get that customer to come back and spend money because you've given them a reward or a coupon of some sort. So that's my next tip. So my next tip is to offer something that's called a spin get, and I'm going to put it up on the screen so you can, because I'm sure I, it doesn't sound like what I'm saying, but um, basically what these are, are um, it's something that we use very frequently when I worked at the limited. So basically what it is, is um, a coupon of sorts that you offer to your customers when they spend a certain amount or when they buy a certain thing. So um because they bought whatever it was or spent that certain amount, they get something. So sometimes it would be a, most times it was a coupon that could only be used during a certain time period. So maybe they bought something between, um, I don't know, December 25th and December 31st. And because they spent whatever it was or bought whatever it was, they get a coupon that they can use in january from january the 15th to january the 21st something like that so basically what you are doing is inviting them to come back in but you're also um planning when you expect to not necessarily lose out on that money but when you're expecting to have uh an influx of customers coming in the door um those worked really well when i worked at the limited i encourage more people to try it if they can um but also make sure that you are offering something that does not completely defeat the purpose of you um, giving it away. If you're going to end up giving away things for free and you're not going to be making a profit, then it doesn't make sense. So make sure that it's make it makes sense for you to do that. All right. So another way to drive traffic to your boutique is to be featured by the press. So the press can be like a local magazine or a local newspaper or your local news station. And it is fairly easy to do. You guys would be super surprised. I know some people may be shy. I'm shy to a certain degree, but I'm also really good at contacting local media and getting them to feature whatever it is that I'm trying to get them to feature. So when I worked at Revive, we were featured on the news, I believe twice. And we were featured in like three or four different magazines. Um, both local and national but this one is really easy essentially you just write a note to someone that works at that particular platform and you introduce yourself introduce your brand and tell them what it is that you would like uh, them to feature so a tip is that it can't just be I would like you to feature my boutique that I just opened two weeks ago and that's it you need to give them something that's going to draw their attention to your boutique and get and um Essentially, it's, it's got to be something that's going to grab the attention of their viewers. So some of the things that you can do are to um, pitch a story or a feature that is um, time sensitive. So, for instance, the very first time my last job was featured on the news, it was around Christmas time. And we pitched a story to offer um, to show holiday or gift giving uh, ideas. So we essentially were able to bring in a pile of merchandise 
from the shop and show it to the public and we just talked about different ways that they could style it or whatever the case may be um but yeah so you can do like holiday themed um uh pitches you can do um different particular products so maybe you got something really great that isn't offered in your area but it's a super high items elsewhere um those are really good ideas um but it needs to be something that is going to draw not only the attention of the person you're sending this note to but also their audience it can't just be that you're a boutique and you just open nobody cares unfortunately you have to tell them something about you or the product that you provide or the service that you're providing that will be of help to them or is is going to um catch their attention so get in touch with the press if you can and pitch them a cool story idea all right so my next tip is to offer location based not really location based uh we're gonna say like specific promotions for specific people or specific circumstances. So um, there's a lot of retailers that offer like military discounts or senior citizen discounts or student discounts, things of that nature. Those are all really great things to implement into your business and almost guaranteed um, for the, that particular demographic to come shop with you on those particular days. However, you can't expect for them to just find you just because you have a particular day that's just for them. You need to make sure that you are, um, once you have implemented this, you also need to advertise and market to that particular group. So say you are now offering a student discount, you wanna get in contact with your local um, schools and stuff like that, and make sure that you are letting them know that you have this discount available and that they should let their students know about it. All right, guys, so that is all the tips that I have for you guys today. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments as always and let me know if there is anything you would like me to make a future video about. Until next time.